Yes. Ooh, so pretty. I just realized since I'm sitting next to the fridge, you might be able to hear the fridge really, really well. So, apologies. Hey guys, it's Hannah, and today is March 3rd, which means that today is Zoe's 24 hour readathon, and I am already failing at <laughs> it. Not, not, not really. Let me explain. So, I've always wanted to do one of these, but I've never been able to do them before. Partly because of scheduling. I seem to be usually busy on the days that she has them. And also partly because I want to like vlog my first experience doing it and I've never had a day where I could like vlog. But today my roommate's up, which is why I'm vlogging this. But as you might be able- actually you probably can't tell because like it looks like this when it's dark too, but it's- it's daytime. It is currently 11.43. Uh, yeah. So I was gonna like start it last night, but then I just didn't. <laughs> partly because I was up until like 12.30 doing accounting homework so I could have today free. That, that was fun. Also partly because once I finished that I was tired. However, I did go ahead and finish a book because I was so close to finishing it and I didn't want to go to bed until I finished it because I knew I was going to sleep. I don't know if I ever do readathon when I don't sleep because I really like sleep. But I stayed up until like 1.30, maybe 2. I think it was about 1.30 though. And I finished Mostly Harmless by Douglas Adams, which is the fifth and final book in the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy series. And let me tell you guys, it was fantastic. The first book was just jaw-dropping amazing. And the second, third, and fourth books have all been fantastic, but they haven't had that same level of just wonder and amazement that that first book had. It's like they've still been fantastic books, and I think I put them all as five-star books too, but they haven't reached the level of the first book. Checker's Guide is without a doubt my favorite book in the series, and then Mostly Harmless is without a doubt my second favorite book in the series, because it just captured me again. The ending caught me off guard a little bit because I was a little confused because I was so engrossed in it that I started reading faster and faster and then I accidentally like skipped over a paragraph and I whew, was a bit baffled for a second. But then I figured out what's going on and it just... Mm. It's such a good book. It's such a good book and such a good series. If you haven't read this series you need to read it. Plus, can we just take a moment to appreciate this cover because... I'm in love with it. And then this morning, as you saw from that little clip at the very beginning, I went and had breakfast in one of the food cafeteria areas here, and I brought with me Anya's Ghost by Vera Brosgul. Brosgul? This is a graphic novel about a girl who like falls down into a hole and there's a dead body there and there's a ghost attached to that dead body and that ghost ends up kind of low-key being attached to Anya and it's about that experience and I read the whole thing this morning over breakfast and three cups of coffee. We're doing great guys. <laughs> this book was so good and it kind of caught me by surprise. I actually got this book for Christmas. I'll leave that whole link below and I think I figured out how to do the little tag thing. I think it's in... hang on. This corner? I think it's this corner. I don't know. You'll see it. I was expecting to probably like it, but I wasn't expecting to love it as much as I did. It was so fantastic, so fast-paced, just a really good, engaging story, and I loved it. And I don't really read any graphic novels, so this is kind of my first graphic novel, I want to say, like official graphic novel. I can't think of any others that I've read, and it was so good. I loved it. I'm not sure if it's a four star or a five star book. Probably a 4.5. I'm going to think I'm going to go ahead and give it a five on Goodreads because it deserves it, but probably it's like a 4.5. You know, kind of like in that middle ground. But if you haven't read this book and you think about reading it, I highly suggest it. It was so good and I read it in like, I want to say an hour, maybe an hour and a half, because I kept getting up to get more coffee. Well, the next book I definitely want to read and get to is The Language of Thorns by Lee Bardugo. This is a bind up of a bunch of folk tale, fairy tales set in the Grishavers, I believe. That's the way I've understood it. It just, it was at Target and I didn't even bother trying to stop myself from buying it. It's just, it's so pretty. Let's see if it's anything pretty. Oh, oh, look at this. And there are like illustrations throughout it and I'm just pumped. So this is definitely what I'm gonna read next. And after that, I don't know. By the way, this is like my TBR for the day. Didn't mention that, mention that now. So there are four books I'm debating over to be my fourth book for the day if I get through Language of Thorns, which I think I will, I should be able to. The first one I mentioned in my last TBR, which I will link Corner, also down below, is it Truth Witch by Susan Dennard or Denard. I think it's Dennard though. I've been wanting to read this again. I kind of got like hyped up again for it. And so 
I want to get to it. However, I'm really wanting to try to go to the North Texas Teen Book Festival and I might be able to make that happen. And Stephanie Garber, author of Caravel or Caravel, I'm not sure how it's pronounced, will be there. And I have her book and I need to read her book. So I kind of want to read this one, but I'm not like as pumped to read it. This one's more of a like, I'm going to potentially see her soon. So I ought to read her book first kind of thing. The next two are both by Alan Dean Foster. We have Catalyst and Codger Space. And if you saw my latest book haul, I'll leave that linked down below and over there. Please let it be that corner because I keep pointing to that one. <laughs> you know that I am so pumped for these and I don't know which one to start with, but I want to read one of these soon and eventually. So I don't know which book I'll pick up next. I think it'll probably be one of these two because these are the ones I'm most excited for. But we'll see. Okay, so I just finished the first short story in... What's the title of this? <laughs> the Language of Thorns. And it was so good. It's one of those, like, subtly funny stories. The only problem I might have with it is it's one of those kind of slower reads. Not slower as in bad and it doesn't have your attention. Just slower as in it. You have to, like, pay more attention when you read and it's just a slower paced story. It's not, like, full of action and drama and stuff. I guess technically it's drama, but you know what I mean. It's just like, a slower, steady pace, which is fine, but not exactly fine for a readathon. So... I think it'll be fine though, and I think I will finish it. So I'm about to start the second story. I'm really excited. Ooh, I want to show you something in it though. I don't know how this is gonna work, and I don't want to like spoil y'all, but watch the end. Watch the corner. Like, see how the pictures. Oh, you can't really tell. So if you look, the picture kind of grows and shrinks as the story progresses, and it's super cool. Love it. Yeah, hopefully I can finish this one soon. Oh, I don't think I've ever shown y'all this, but I got my ears pierced again. Just got, you know, a little, little second piercing. If you really pay attention, you might have seen it, but this coming Monday marks two weeks that I've had it. So then I can stop cleaning it frantically all the time. But I'm, I'm really, really happy about it. I never really wore earrings a whole lot when I just had the one piercing. I'd wear danglies every now and then for like church or special occasions or something. But other than that, never really wore any. I think I'll wear some more now that I have two because it just looks so much better. <laughs> and like the main reason I wanted to do it in the first place was because then I can do like a stud and then a dangly at the same time and I just I love the look of that so I'm really pleased with them. I'm really happy about it but I haven't told my mom about it and I'm not quite sure how she reacts because she's not a huge fan of this kind of thing. So We'll see how that goes. What I should be doing is reading. What I am doing is playing Mario on the DS. <laughs> I've made it to the top room where Peach is. I haven't done it yet. You know, like the clock and stuff. Or the one back there. But I will. I haven't done that either. I need to get on this. I mean, I could get Peach right now. I can't do the hang on. Ready? There we go. Straighten up. Oh wait, now I gotta... Ugh. Go. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> this is how I spend my time. So I just read The Two Clever Fox, which is the second story in here. And I'm listening to the soundtrack from Oh Brother Where Art Thou, which if you haven't seen that movie, you should go watch it because it's fantastic. And it's like a very folky soundtrack. So... It went really well with the story, I feel like. I don't know, it just had a really cool ambiance. Also, one thing I really like about this book is how so far each of these fairy tales have similarities to our fairy tales, you know? And I just, I like that. Sometimes there's like just one that you're like, I see what she's doing here. And then other times it's like there are multiple kind of mixed in. And there's also kind of like mythology kind of mixed in and, and just... This is a really good book, guys. I just got me a snack and some water, and I am watching a movie. It's called The Men Who Stare at Goats, and I've never seen it before, but I got it at Goodwill because it was like a dollar, and it's got George Clooney. And he was in Oh Brother Where Art Thou, which I was listening to the music today, so thought about this, decided to watch it. We'll see how this goes. So far, it's only been like three minutes, and I'm already greatly amused, but I just want to point out that on here, if you look at the names that this focuses, there we go. So you know, blah 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 blah, blah and goat. The, it. 
<sighs> I'm excited. Update. This movie is ridiculous and hilarious. It's so good. Update. That movie was beautiful. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. And you should go see it. I say go see it. It's not in theaters, but you should find it and watch it because it's so good. Oh my gosh. It is 6.45 and I already have my PJs on. That's my life right now. So, not reading right now. Instead, I am watching Gilmore Girls because I have this anklet that if you saw my road trip video, which I will link, oh, I think it's this corner, then you know that it, this took forever to make. But I made it too long, so the knot is huge and it annoys me a lot. So what I'm doing, it's very nerve wracking, is I'm like picking away at it and undoing it, but leaving the strings, and then I'll like get it to the size I want and then like tie the ends together so it's like kind of fused in a sense. It's it's hopefully gonna work. It better work. I it better. Also making some tea and it, I can't really drink tea while sitting on my bed. I have to sit here because it's like weird to like lean down. Speaking of tea, I gotta show you this. First of all, here's the bed and down there is my nightstand. So that's what I'm talking about by the leaning down to to get stuff. It's, very annoying. So my mom got me these tea tins for Valentine's Day and I love them so much. This is the one I'm having right now. It's the catcher in the chai and it just like slides open and you've got your tea. And then I have this one which is an Earl Grey tea and then Agatha Christie themed. And then I have this one which is probably my favorite. One, Mr. Darcy. And two, it's got like chocolate chips in it. I don't know if you can see that. But it is so good. So I think she got these at Adagio tea. Check them out. So my goal is to at least finish Language of Thorns tonight. I don't think I'll finish any more than that, considering how slow I'm going. Uh, but that's the plan. Oh, here's a thought. Okay, so I saw the Wrinkle in Time trailer today, and it looks absolutely fantastic. And it makes me really want to see the movie, but I didn't like the book when I first read it. But it's one of those books that I feel like if I read it now, I would like it. So should I reread it before I see the movie? Or should I just so go see the movie and then maybe reread the book and then or maybe not reread the book? Able to help. I got it fixed. Now the knot is all tiny so it won't annoy me. Ah <sighs> finally. Still watching Gilmore Girls. Still drinking tea. Keep you updated. Listen, if the last story in this isn't the origin story of Ursula, then that's it. Everything's cancelled. But as you might be able to tell, this is finished. It's complete, which means I have finished three books today. Technically, maybe only two, because I only finished like the last hundred pages of this book, but we're gonna count it. This was absolutely fantastic and i think i mentioned it earlier but i like how with all of the stories you can like tell what modern day like our world fairy tales they're relating to and sometimes it's like one main one and sometimes you're getting like hints of others if you look at it and i just i loved it i loved it man my favorite story has to be the first one though like that one just took the cake that's the one that i said was like kind of like subtly funny and it just it was a great start to the book like 10 out of 10. So this book is definitely a 5 out of 5, like no doubt about it. Based so all of these books, because I went ahead and gave this a 5, all of these books were 5 star reads. That, that, that's pretty impressive. <laughs> so the first book I finished today was Mostly Harmless by Douglas Adams, the fifth and final book in the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I already talked about it. You need to hear more. It's great. You need to read it. Second book was Anya's Ghost. Again, I think I already talked about this, but great. You need to read it. It's a graphic novel. Highly enjoyed it. And then this was the final book. Absolutely fantastic. Like, just Leigh Bardugo has a way with everything she does. This is one of those books that's beautiful on the outside and also beautiful on the inside. It's just all around perfect. Absolutely perfect. And she's going to be at the North Texas Teen Book Festival, so hopefully, hopefully I can see her and get this signed. That would be so cool. Only about 30 minutes till midnight, so like technically have more time, but I need to get a shower and I'm just gonna call it quits so I can go to bed. Sorry if this was kind of boring. I feel like it probably was kind of boring, but like I'm still not quite comfortable with filming in a dorm. Like it's, it's still weird. I don't like it. 
So this is what you got. I did watch a movie today too. Does that like kind of count as a book? Like I read three books and watched a movie, so that counts for something. Should I do a review of that? So, Men Who Stare at Goats. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. And it's just fantastic. It's hilarious. It's ridiculous. Why do I love ridiculous things? Can we, can we figure that out? Because it's a trend. Also, something I mentioned was um, Oh Brother Where Art Thou? which is another George Clooney movie and it is also fantastic and ridiculous. It's a retelling of The Odyssey with like twists obviously because it's set in like, oh, I wanna say 1920s Alabama? Is it in the 20s? I don't remember the year, but it's set in like Alabama and stuff. I don't think it's the 20s, take that back. I don't think it's the 20s, I don't know. But it's just, it's ridiculous and hilarious and there's a lot of singing and the soundtrack is fantastic if you're into movie scores, so. There's also that. So there are two movie recommendations for you. But yeah, so that's it. I'm I'm gonna go clean up and then go to bed. I'm not really that tired because I slept in till like nine, I think, but I'm still gonna go to bed. I mean, but actually that's a lie. I'll probably watch a Gilmore Girls. I wanna see this ooh, set up before y'all go. Ready? Oh, that's gonna fall. This is my makeshift tripod. It, it's a bunch of pillows and I was using my DS to like kind of prop the camera up so the pillow wouldn't show. But this is a pillow that Mickey got me. Mickey's my roommate. I don't think I've ever mentioned her name before. For Valentine's Day. And it's it's beautiful. And it smells, it smells like, I don't know what it smells like, some kind of like candy, but it's fantastic. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see y'all again in the one soon.